Hey guys, it's Jen from Ride X, and today we are talking some trash, and I'm talking literal trash. So let's get into it. These are products that I've used up, that I have a solid opinion about, whether I will try them again, whether I am so glad that they're gone, and I have a few things that are just plain expired, and it's just time to get rid of them. Doesn't my hair look magical and like windblown and like beachy waves? Wait, that was yesterday. Today I look like I rolled out of a trash can. All right, so we have an okay size box. I'll do like the annoying things first. All right, the first, this is a pack of makeup removers from Comadines, and these weren't very good. I got them in a subscription box. I don't know who actually, I don't know what box I actually got them in, but they didn't really take off much. I had to actually add like my cellar water to them to get them to do anything. So if you were thinking of trying them, pass. The next are baby wipes that I use for the same reason to like get swatches off and stuff. These are from, I wanna say these are from Aldi. They're the Well Beginnings. These also did nothing. I don't know if they actually help wipe a baby though. Ugh, so next is an expired product. This was in one of my videos about palettes I can't get rid of, even though like I never touch them anymore. Like I've had them forever. This is the, the Balm and the Beautiful face palette. So it has like uh, cheek and lip stains, eyeshadows and stuff. I've had this literally forever. I got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, probably like, over a decade ago. Actually, don't quote me on that. A long time ago. I mean, it's been years since I've used this. It's all like shimmer, metallic, satin shades. It's, it was a pretty palette while it lasted, but it's absolutely time to go. All right, the next is probably, as of now, my favorite toner essence product. This is from Pyeongtang Yule. This is the Essence Toner. This can be used as a toner or as an essence. I used to use it for both. If my face was feeling okay, I would put it on after cleansing, just one layer. If it was feeling a little extra dry, I would, I would put on two layers. So this is amazing. I got it off of Amazon. It's pretty affordable. And, and this actual brand is run by... I think they're like actual, like, not dermatologists. Are they, phys are they phys not physicians? Pharmacists, maybe? I'll write it on the screen who like runs this company, but I was, I've been impressed with every product I've tried from them. All right, the next is from Arctic Fox, and this is Kristen Leanne's brand. This is the color Electric Paradise. It's like a pink coral kind of shade. I was extremely excited about this. Ugh, sadly, this did not leave much pigment in my hair. So what I did to use this was I waited until this faded to like, till my ends were like almost white and then I put this on and it really didn't do much. It didn't leave much pink or much coral. So I was a little disappointed. Uh, uh, got another expired. This is the Embryolisse. This is the Nourishing Moisturizer. This is like an all-in-one product. I got this at iMats a few years ago. Like you could use it as a primer. You could use it as like a makeup remover. You could use it as a moisturizer. Like you could use it for a bunch of different things. And I really did like it, but it's absolutely, it, it expired after 12 months. It doesn't smell bad or anything, but I just don't feel comfortable putting it back on my face. But I do know that you can find this on Hot Look for like half off or whatever. And I think you can get like a two for one deal or something like that. So if you ever want to try this, I would wait for, to find it on Hot Look because I mean, who doesn't want to get stuff cheaper? Oh, all right. The next is from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Acne Solutions Clarifying, Clarifying Colloidal Sulfur Mask Acne Medication. So this is either used as a spot treatment or you can actually use it under foundation like to protect any outbreaks that you have. I thought this was really cool and it was a good product, but there's only half an ounce in this big tub. I thought that was a little misleading. Um, it wasn't crazy expensive because I think there's a bigger size that's more expensive, but I wasn't crazy about the packaging. It's the kind like you push up. I did like the product, but I don't like when they do this, when they make you think there's a ton in here. I mean, obviously you can just read the packaging and see the truth, but I didn't do that. So anyway, here we have the Battle Ash. Oh no, I'm lying. <laughs> Battle Ash. That was... Anyway, here we have the Baddington Lashes. I feel like, did we get these in BoxyCharm recently? I think we did. I only got to use them about twice though because they didn't, they, like they kept poking out at the sides. I couldn't actually get the, the actual strip to adhere to my lash line. It, they were kind of a pain to use actually, so I'm getting rid of these. All right, the next is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This was fine. I had used it for a while. It was nice. Um, it's more of like a lotion-y kind of primer. It doesn't have silicone in it, which is what I wanted. That's why I wanted to try it. But I've since found better ones that are less expensive. So it was fine. But I mean, you know, it was fine. 
All right, the next is another Expire product. This is the Model Co. Clarifying Moisturizer for day and night use. It's for combination skin. I actually really liked this when I used it. It expired a while ago. I've had it for a few years again. Um, it was time to just get rid of it though. This is what I actually like to use when I had a breakout. This is like the primer I, I guess I used it as. And also like I would use it any other time that I had a breakout and I needed moisturizer. This did work really well. I got this. I feel like I got it from like TJ Maxx or Marshall. So it really wasn't expensive. Uh, the next is my Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I love this foundation. I haven't used it in a minute though. I have like two left that are like slightly different shades. This shade is, is so weird. It's not actually written on here. I wanna say, well, I wanna say it's like uh, light beige maybe is this shade. It was. It's a beautiful foundation, but I think I had like about this much left and it's starting to like turn kind of orange and oxidize. So it's time to get rid of that. All right, I have some face masks here. I have the Tony Moly I'm Real Red Wine Mask Sheet for pore care. I don't ever know what that means. Like, does it mean it's cleaning your pores out or does it mean it's shrinking them? Because that's not really a thing. You can't really do that. Okay, it's for, oh, it's for tightening uneven texture and enlarged pores. This was a very nice sheet mask. I didn't notice any pore issues going on afterwards. I didn't notice it, my pores looking better or worse. It just hydrated really nicely. And red wine is an antioxidant, so that's something. <sighs> Let's see, the next is from The Cream Shop, and this is the Turmeric Face Mask Potent Herbal Skin Revival. Helps correct discoloration, soothes acne, eczema, dryness, combats wrinkles, and age spots. I love this mask. I got like a set of, I think like four or five in a box, and I think it was like five or six dollars. I got it again from Marshalls, I think recently. Maybe not recently, like a few months ago. I put these in my fridge because I tend to use them if I have breakouts or if my skin looks angry or red in some spots. Turmeric is a great um, anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. So if you have those kind of issues, this, is, this would be like a really nice sheet mask to try. And if you don't know, I'm not a huge sheet mask fan. I like them, but I more so like them prior to putting makeup on because it really hydrates your skin and prepares it for makeup application. It makes your makeup go on much smoother. Or if I have actual issues going on with my skin like that, like I use this for a very specific reason. Whereas this one I just used prior to makeup and it was fine. I think this might be my very first concealer I've ever used up. And this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer in C12. This is my go-to cream contour product. I recently repurchased it and got the, actually got two of the big super size versions of it. This is the perfect contour shade for me. Now I put powder on on top afterwards, but it's fantastic. It gives that perfect amount of like nude shadow to your face. All right, the next is from Essence and this is the eyeshadow base, the I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. This is a great eyeshadow base. It ended up I feel like it ended up going bad though. And it was really like I had this much left at the bottom. Like, it has that white cream shade that cancels out like any discoloration or veins on your lids. So it makes everything go on smoother and more bright. I really did like this, but I think it started going bad because it started not working that well towards the end. So I figured it was time to let it go. All right, the next is the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. This is probably the very first under eye primer I'd ever tried. I feel like I got this. I know I didn't fit, pay full price for this. So I either got it on Hot Look years ago or maybe at TJ Maxx or Marshalls years ago, but I found this years ago and it has this really nice consistency. It's like this pinky shade. It's expired, like beyond expired. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I got this at least five years ago. It doesn't even smell bad. It still actually smells nice, but it might actually be a silicone base, but it's very, it's a mix of silicone lotion feeling. Like it doesn't feel like that slippery, feeling that silicone primers have. It, it's more hydrating, I guess. And it does feel like it sinks into the skin, which is why I liked it as an under eye primer. So I was very sad to see this go because this isn't cheap. I would probably buy this again. Ugh, yeah. Okay, the next is my COSRX Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. So this is like a sleeping pack. This would be the last product you put on ugh, after you're done applying all the rest of your skincare routine products. So I would put this on after, let's say my face oil at the end of the night. And it kind of holds everything in that you just put on. It helps it absorb better into your skin and it adds like an extra bit of moisture. And rice is a great ingredient to have 
for skincare. It's brightening, it adds moisture. This was very nice, but it has gone bad. But I would definitely repurchase it again. The next two products are from Mario Badescu. I loved both of these, but they have actually expired. These are the Honey Moisturizer and the a AHA Ceramide Moisturizer. So the Honey was more hydrating and the AHA Ceramide was more like anti-aging, protecting. They were both fantastic. Again, I got them so long ago and it was during a time like I've changed, but it was during a time that like I was really starting to get into makeup so I just kept buying things and like skincare and everything so these just kind of got lost in the pile. I'm sure I got these like four years ago. I'm finally saying goodbye to Max Painterly. I hadn't even, I haven't even hit pan on this, like not even close. You can see like there's a divot in it, but this just, this is so drying for me and it's, I feel like it's just not good anymore. It's starting to look very deep pink, which I don't feel like is right, but it, yeah. I've had this a really long time. I tried to use it as like a eye primer, like to put stuff on top of. It was just really heavy and cakey feeling and I was just not a fan of it. All right, the next product is from Clarins. This is the Skin Illusion Natural Radiance Foundation. This is in the shade 105 Nude. This was very nice. It's still about half full, but it is absolutely expired. It's good for 18 months. It's been well beyond two years. So it's time to say goodbye. I didn't use it that much. Again, it was during a time that I just kept buying things and not thinking about using everything that I had, so I, I did that to myself. The next is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. This was fine, but I would never, never pay the amount of money that they charge for the full one. I got this in like, I'm pretty sure I got it in like a box like sample. I would never pay the full price for a cleansing oil. There are plenty of wonderful cleansing oils for a, a quarter of the price, so I, this is was very nice, but it didn't do anything magical that I was like, oh my god, I, I need to go and purchase this because nothing else I've ever used have has come close. I've used things that I've liked better. And the last thing I have here is the Wonder Pen Concealer from... I got this in a Korean beauty box. I have no idea. Maybe the brand is Wonder Pen? This was an extremely nice concealer. It had like skincare properties in it. I really enjoyed it. I would probably repurchase it if I knew where to get it. I'll look it up online and see if I find it anywhere. But yeah, I was a big fan of that. Sorry, this is my last. My last is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. I liked this, but I almost felt like it smelled a little too fake for me. I don't know what it is. I liked how it felt on my skin. It doesn't like make your makeup stay long or anything. It's a refreshing spray. Like it just kind of refreshes your face. You can put it on over makeup. I like to use these kind of sprays when my makeup is extra dry and like cakey feeling. This kind of moisturizes and hyd rehydrates everything. I did enjoy it, but I mean, I like the Max Fix Plus better. But if you like stuff like this and you don't mind certain smells, then try it. But I mean, it's basically just a like refreshing spray. Like it doesn't do anything special. Um, so that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys finished up any trash of your own recently. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.